From Studio A on the Ohlone Fremont campus, this is Ohlone Tri-City News. Featuring stories about our neighbors in Fremont, Newark, and Union City. Good evening and welcome to Ohlone Tri-City News for Wednesday, March 15th, 2023. I'm Nick Beeler. Here's our first news story. Due to severe flooding conditions in the parking lot of the Chinese Independent Baptist Church of Fremont last Friday, several attendees of the morning service were unable to leave after the service because their vehicles were blocked by water. The Fremont Fire Department initiated an evacuation plan and assisted nine adults in safely wading through the lot to a nearby parking area where they were able to make alternate arrangements to get home via a family member or a friend. Earlier today, Ohlone College threw a celebration for the Lunar New Year. Here's Kevin with the story. Students gathered at Ohlone's Multicultural Center in honor of the Lunar New Year, a holiday celebrated among many parts of Asia. The center sported decorations for the event, along with free boba and spring rolls, which went fast among students. There was also many activities, including calligraphy and games. Upon winning a game, students had the chance to win various prizes. The center hosts many other events throughout the year. To see upcoming events, visit aloneedu slash multicultural student center. Looking for a day of fun? The Union City Youth Commissioners invite you to the Culture Fest. It will showcase and celebrate the city's diversity through vendors, entertainment, food, and art. The Culture Fest will be on Saturday, March 25th from noon to 4 p.m. at Kennedy Park in Union City. The youth commissioners are also looking for vendors and food performers to volunteer and join the event. For more information, call 510-675-5329. Are you looking for a summer job that pays up to $33 per hour? Find out after the short break. I want to I eat, more. eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat? Apples and bananas. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. For Women's History Month, the Fremont Main Library is hosting a book talk with Dr. Danielle Terra Terrazas Williams, an award-winning historian and professor at the University of Leeds. She will talk about her book, The Capital of Free Women, Race, Legitimacy, and Liberty in Colonial Mexico, and answer questions. This will be from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. this Saturday, March 18th. To reserve a seat, visit aclibrary.org. Fremont Parks and Recreation are looking to make an impact. Here's Xavier with the story. Last Thursday, the City of Fremont Parks and Recreation Department held a summer job fair at the Downtown Event Center for anyone wanting to improve the community. As you walk in, you're greeted with a brochure and a form to indicate your job of choice. A wall features over 100 different jobs for seasonal and part-time. There were desks at each division for applying and additional information. To further accelerate the application process, there were on-the-spot interviews held in separate rooms. Visit bit.ly slash Jobs for more information about the summer jobs, ranging from $16 to $33 per hour. Now it's time for entertainment. The Oscars were just this past weekend, and wow, what a turnout. This 95th Academy Awards, hosted by Jimmy Kimmel, saw none other than Everything Everywhere All at Once steal the show. Winning most of the categories, it was nominated for, for such as Best Picture, Best Director with Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert, Best Actress with Michelle Yeoh, and both Best Supporting Actor with Kehu Kwan and Supporting Actress with Jamie Lee Curtis. For Best Actor, Brendan Fraser himself made a much-deserved comeback and took home the award with his performance in The Whale. 
Unfortunately, Puss in Boots The Last Wish was snubbed for Best Animated Feature with Guillermo del Toro's rendition of Pinocchio winning the award. An honorable mention is All Quiet on the Western Front, which took home quite a few awards as well, including Best Cinematography and Best Original Score. Luckily, this year no one was slapped on stage. In other movie news, Shazam! Fury of the Gods comes out this Friday, with reviews starting to pour, pour in. Unfortunately, DC didn't hit this one out of the park, as many are saying this sequel just doesn't quite compare to the first one. There are definitely some humorous moments sprinkled in, as well as extravagant action sequences, but reviewers still say that many jokes don't land, the story is formulaic, and there's just some magic that's missing from this flick that was more apparent in the first film. While this movie is a lot of fun, it doesn't have the heart that the first Shazam had. Inside, starring William Defoe, also comes out this Friday. The movie is about Defoe, who was a high-end art thief. His latest heist doesn't quite go as planned after he gets trapped inside the luxury, high-tech penthouse of his next targeted piece. Containing nothing but priceless works of art, Defoe must use his intuition and wit to escape the trap laid out for him. Reviews are calling this psychological thriller an intense one, with a knockout performance from William Defoe. Many are saying Defoe makes it a one-man show well worth the watch. In other news, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves tickets just went on presale. Starring Chris Pine, this movie is about a group of adventurers led by a charismatic thief on the quest for a long-lost relic. Yet their quest soon takes a turn for the worst, much like a typical Dungeons & Dragons game. Catch it in theaters on March 31st. And in the world of music, Miley Cyrus is back as she just released her new album last Friday titled Endless Summer Vacation. If you were a fan of her pre-release single Flowers, you may want to give this album a listen. The album has quite a good number of tracks on it, standing at 13 songs. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still waiting for a new release from Hannah Montana. Hopefully we get something soon. And for entertainment news here at Ohlone, the Ohlone Entertainment Arts Guild presents The Wolves. Come see the show in the Numi Theater this Thursday and Friday at 8 p.m. Tickets are $15 and sold only at the door. Content warning, this play depicts and features discussion of sensitive subject matter and is rated R. Also this Thursday, Ohlone College Chorus, Chamber Singers, and Orchestra present Requiem in D Minor. Located in the Jackson Theater at the Smith Center on campus, tickets are $15 for general admission and $5 for students. Come see this show this Thursday at 7 p.m. And that's it for entertainment. Don't turn away. Last Saturday, Ohlone had their flea market after nearly a decade of dormancy. Find out more after the break. Meet the scan, a simple procedure whose mission is to detect lung cancer early. but I feel fine. That's great, but you may still be at high risk for lung cancer. Oh man, that's a new fence. If you smoke, early detection could save your life. Learn more at savedbythescan.org. Hey Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Can birds draw pictures? I don't have an answer for that. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! On Monday, Ohlone College's Board of Trustees unanimously selected Charles Sasaki to be the new college president and superintendent. Sasaki is the eighth person to take on the role and is the first of Asian American ancestry. Sasaki will begin his duties in July. After a long hiatus, the flea market event at Ohlone College had a successful run. Here is Murtaza with the story. Last Saturday, Ohlone College returned strong. With a flea market opening after eight years, vendors had jewelry, rocks, flowers, and even a local honey booth. If you're interested in participating in future flea market events held at Ohlone College, contact Van Tran, the flea market coordinator, at 510-659-6285. Let's toss it to Anna for the weather. Thank you, Nick. Today, Morgan Hill reached a high of 56, while the lowest today was in San Mateo and Santa Cruz at 53. We can see that most surrounding cities stayed around 55 degrees. Let's take a look at tonight's low temperatures. 
Tonight, the lowest temperature will be in San Jose and Morgan Hill at 39 degrees, and the highest will be in San Francisco at 47. Let's take a look at tomorrow. Tomorrow, the high will be 65 in San Jose, while the lowest will be in Santa Cruz at 54 degrees. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. Tomorrow and Friday will be sunny, Saturday and Sunday will be cloudy, and Monday we may see some rain. That's it for this week's weather. Back to you, Nick. Thank you, Anna. Want to help promote mental health awareness through art? Learn more about the Student Art Contest after this break. Recently, the western U.S. has averaged more than 1,900 earthquakes and 3,800 significant wildfires each year. So chances are, there will be more of both near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are, they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Fremont Community Services Department invites you to the Spring into Steam event on Wednesday, March 29th from 4 p.m. through 8 p.m. at the Downtown Event Center. This event is hosted by the City of Fremont, endorsing educational programs that will lead to careers in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Attend for a free family-friendly evening with steam activities, giveaways, food trucks, music, and more. Please join Union City's Morning Coffee with Cops event. Coffee with Cop brings police officers and the community members they serve together to discuss issues and learn more about each other over coffee. Join them on Thursday, March 23rd at Starbucks and Mission and Tamarack through 8 a.m. through 10 a.m. To celebrate the art and creativity of Fremont students, the City of Fremont Human Services Department Youth and Family Services Division in partnership with Fremont Unified School District is hosting the 6th Annual Children's Mental Health Awareness Art Competition and Virtual Exhibition. Help promote mental health awareness through the theme, My Happy Place. Students living in Fremont and attending FUSD schools are encouraged to submit art, photography, and poetry. The first 100 entries are guaranteed to be judged. Please submit entries before 12 noon on Friday, March 24th. To review art submission rules and instructions, please, please visit Fremont.gov and search for youth service events. Thank you, thank you for watching Ohlone Tri-City News for Wednesday, March 15th, 2023. Next week is spring break here at Ohlone College. Please join us for our next show on March 29th. You may watch it live on the Ohlone Broadcasting IBM video channel. To see recordings of our shows and stories, please visit OloneTV.net. Enjoy the rest of your day and good night.